Increased customer incentives and reductions in equipment costs have motivated many homeowners to install distributed energy resources, DERs, like solar photovoltaic and battery storage systems. Customer-owned DERs can provide benefits for both individuals and the grid by helping advance decarbonization goals and operating as behind-the-meter clean energy generation sources. For energy companies, improving the visibility of behind-the-meter generation is important so that they can better plan and manage the grid. But today's electric utility metering infrastructure is limited in how it measures customer load and local generation. It collects the combined measurement or net power data from each customer location, which doesn't include visibility into the gross load and total solar generation from homes. Why is this a problem? Because inaccurate information can lead to load confusion, overloading equipment, or other strains on the grid. It can also impact grid forecasting and accurate and safe load shifting, particularly when solar loads from DER homeowners are peaking. Accurately estimating solar generation can be challenging with current methods due to many factors, including changes in weather, shading, soiling losses, location, aging, and power production rating of the respective solar units. One method to measure output of a solar array scales output according to the rated capacity. This method doesn't account for shading, panel settings, or other factors which may impact true solar generation. Other methods to estimate generation are based on weather data. This means they may be inaccurate when weather predictions do not represent field conditions. To help improve accuracy, EPRI is developing an artificial intelligence algorithm for better estimation and detection of solar generation. The algorithm uses publicly available data, such as advanced metering infrastructure, SCADA, and weather stations. For distribution utilities with limited visibility to behind-the-meter solar generation, the EPRI algorithm can accurately separate net load data into gross load and behind-the-meter solar generation. It can also auto-detect solar status, including installed, online, offline, and its nameplate or power production rating based on the measurements from the grid. The algorithm requires net meter, solar, and weather data to predict behind the meter solar generation and gross load, all of which are readily available to utilities. But it can also estimate generation and gross load at different hierarchies in the distribution system including at the substation, feeder, and segment. Grid operators can also use this model to switch between various sources of data for added flexibility. It requires a relatively smaller set of training data to form estimates and predictions. EPRI is working to compare the algorithm to other methods by piloting it in a real-world scenario. The algorithm has two steps, training and predicting. Training begins by building a model from historic data. The model accuracy improves for more accurate training and higher resolution training data. The model can also learn other types of home characteristics like the size and other nameplate settings of the PV panel. Predicting applies the model developed in training for real-time data. Using AI, the model is able to predict the outcomes for a specific scenario. Here, the model is predicting the number of kilowatts flowing from a cluster of suburban homes equipped with DERs. Currently, EPRI is piloting and testing the model in an environment which includes about 90 homes with DERs, a nearby solar field, and an airport with a weather station. And how are we doing? The algorithm's estimated solar generation was on average 90% accurate compared to the measured solar generation. The model accurately estimated behind the meter generation loss in scenarios where the DER system had gone offline or was under maintenance. It had accurate estimation on typical weather days where the current state of the solar panel was different from the weather prediction, like snow coverage on solar panels on a sunny day. Finally, it accurately estimated zero or negligible generation for houses that were picked for detection but did not have DERs installed. Initial results show the model helped reduce estimation errors and helped planners and operators make better decisions to reliably integrate and use DERs. In the future, the model could be extended for other types of DER resources like energy storage and electric vehicles, among others.